Hey guys, IT Ops guy. Well, you know, I left the last video just like super frustrated. Uh, SolarWinds was running so super slow. It was driving me nuts. And it turns out that it was just a discovery. Um, you know, with, with having limited resources anyway, uh, when I ran that, disc that discovery against the entire subnet, it really taxed the box. Um, so I ended up canceling it, working on it just a little bit. And I found out, you know, if I'm not using the discovery, it works just fine. Uh, so we've currently got one box, SWO2. That's the only one being monitored. And that one is by the agent itself. We could actually open up this box and take a look and, and see what all it's got. And it's got a bunch of stuff because the agent reports a bunch of information. But instead, I want to add a node. And the only node that I can actually add here is the um, domain controller. This is the only one that is up and running. The web01 is also uh, down right now because I don't have enough resources to run both of those nodes. So really what we've got is the domain controller and the SolarWinds O2 box. Those are, that's it. Um, so we can add a node here and we are actually just still waiting for it to pop up because it's not super fast, um, but it wasn't as slow as could be either. So uh, I'm actually gonna pause the video and we'll pick it back up when the page actually loads for me. All right, guys, so we got the page here and let's go ahead and put in our IP 192.168.0.2. This is the IP address of our domain controller. We're gonna wanna use WMI. WMI is Windows Management Instrumentation. Uh, and that is gonna give us all kinds of information about the box. Essentially, anything you ever wanted to know, you can pull with WMI. So that is what we are gonna use here. And normally, you know, you click WMI and it's, it's pretty instantaneous uh, because of the speed of our box. It's, it's taken a little while here, um, but eventually this will populate and we'll be able to choose a credential. All right, and here we go. So we are gonna be able to choose the solarwinds.service credential. That'll pre-fill this area. And then what we're gonna do is run a test and see if that test is successful or not. Uh, so there we go, everything's populated. Let's go ahead and click test and find out if it works. All right, good news. Our test was successful, we got the green bar. Uh, so let's go ahead and add the node. So for some reason guys, and I've been trying to sit here and figure it out. So with uh, WMI, when I go to click next, uh, you can see it, the mouse pointer turns into the, the crosshairs with four arrows, um, almost like it, it wants to move it and I can't click next. Oh, there we go, finally worked. All right, so now we can choose the resources that we wanna monitor on DC01. So essentially it's gonna scan the node. It's going to um, look for hard disks, look for network interfaces, and look for anything else um, to monitor. So in just a minute, we will get that info. All right, so you can see that uh, so far we've discovered two volumes. Uh, undoubtedly, that's the main hard disk, the C drive, as well as most likely the DVD drive. Uh, but it's still looking for those resources and you know, this process normally, like with a decent server, usually takes 90 seconds. Um, it took a little bit longer here, but uh, it, it's finally done and you can see the things that we can monitor. Um, so we're not gonna monitor the D drive by default. We, we just don't need to. Um, we are gonna monitor Active Directory. You can see that's automatically checked here. Uh, the Hyper-V Ethernet adapter is selected as well as the inventory for the box. Um, and then, you know, it might also be good to get Windows scheduled tasks. If you've got a task that needs to be monitored, um, we don't. So we're just gonna click next. All 
All right, we've got an opportunity to add other um, applications at this time. We're not going to add anything else. Instead, we're just going to uh, click next. And it went into that weird little uh, crosshairs again, but eventually. Um, I can't get it to click next. Uh, it seems like, you know, this thing is fighting me all the, all the time. I'm not sure what the deal is here. So let me try to figure it out. All right. I'm not sure about this behavior. It's, it's really weird. You can see as I get down into like this area, the mouse changes from a pointer to this, uh, you know, four crosshairs, and I'm not sure why. Oh, there we go. There's something that's overlaying on it, and I'm not exactly sure what it is, but now it looks like I'm able to add the node. All right, so we can see that it is DC01. Uh, you might want to add like a just a caption here, like production domain controller. And that way you can search for any of that text. Um, there's some custom properties here. You can see uh, things that you can add if you wanted to add any comments or where it's located or the date it was put in service, so on and so forth. We can actually create custom properties too. Uh, I'll show you how that works in a little while. But I think we're good to go. Let's add the node. And we should get a little message saying that the node was added successfully. All right, guys, we were able to get the node added and I am currently changing the page to that node. Well, we got the node added, but uh, we're unable to view it. So I think where I'm at basically at this point is I'm gonna redo all the work that I did, but I'm gonna buy something that's actually able to run all these servers. Uh, so in a future video, I am going to get us something with some decent horsepower, right? Uh, where I can throw resources at these virtual machines. Um, so we're not dealing with uh, website errors and requests timed out and um, all this stuff that we're dealing with because it is frustrating for me. I guarantee it's frustrating for you. Uh, so I'm going to get something where this doesn't happen, but that's it guys. I'm at my wits end. This video is over.